Hi guys, what's up Jason here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 video on my channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to bring you my first ever video on my channel with face cam. So if you do enjoy these type of videos guys, I want to see more. Don't forget to smash that like button. Can we try and hit 10 likes on this video? So getting into the video now, as you can see, this is the first ever episode of Skillers vs Skillers. So this series was actually inspired by um, Skill Energy, also known as Javi. So I will leave all these social media and youtube links in the description below so this series is basically where i'm going to play other skillers on xbox and it's not really about winning it's more about you know scoring good skill goals and uh, you know going on good skill runs so our first opponent today is banny 22 and one thing you will realize from these clips is um when skillers play each other they know what each other are going to do most of the time so it's pretty hard to you know go on good skill runs because you know the other person basically knows what they're going to do um, you know 99% of the time so yeah there isn't that like the most insane skill runs in the video but if you like a skiller I'm pretty sure you'll still find it you know fairly enjoyable so we get a chance here with Di Maria do a nice Balassi flick there go and cross it in Benafa just couldn't reach it nice parry away there from the goalkeeper Get it on the edge of the box there with Thiago. Do some nice off-ball dribbling. Stop the ball. Do a nice ball roll flick there to the pilot skill move. To a nice drag back. Go for the hocus pocus. Go for a heel to heel. And then Banny manages to defend it. So as well, guys, I will leave Banny's social media links in the description below. He's a really underrated skiller. Um, he makes compilations, um, you know, just like me. So definitely go and check out his channel if you're a FIFA skiller or like FIFA compilations. So yeah, basically, we get the ball here with Di Maria. Do a nice drag back there. Um, play into Ben Arthur, does a nice Ronaldo chop to a Miggy, just been to a Hocus Pocus and again Banny was actually a pretty good defender to be honest so it was pretty hard to um, you know get any chances so we get the ball here with our centre back do a nice pass there to Douglas Costa, Douglas Costa plays it down the line to Ribery Ribery with a honestly that's such a nice first touch does a nice McGeady spin it to a running whacker, in, uh, whacker whacker inside go for the McGeady spin but then a do go and get fouled so as you can see, a lot of the chances in the matches, you know, there is like quite a lot of um, time between them just because there wasn't that many, um, you know, chances in general. So, you know, I've had to sort of edit down um, the best parts I could find. So the next chance here is just before half time. We get the ball there with Ribery and we actually lose it. Banning tackles it back, goes for, um, I think that was advanced rainbow flick, um, but fails it. But still managed to go with a nice Faker Bonner there to Roulette. Runs down the line there, does a really nice skill move, and then I think the referee blows for half time somewhere around here. So, yeah, there we go, he blows for half time. So, at half time, it was nil nil. Um, it was a pretty even match, to be honest, in the first half, but then in the second half, and um, Baddy, you know, just turned up his game and he basically just destroyed me the whole of the second half. I think we actually maybe get the first chance here of the half in the 54th minute there. Do some decent skill moves, do a nice skill pass there from Di Maria, but luckily. Um, I'm sorry, and luckily for us, we lose the ball. And then Banny goes on the attack here with Douglas Costa, sprinting down the line, using his pace. Does some nice scissors there. Does some more um, scissors there. So I think it's the double touch spin. Does a nice fake Rabona to a drag back, to a skill move. That skill move there, I think it was a body fake and just absolutely destroyed me. Tries the pipe skill move. I give it him straight back. And then in the end, we manage to defend it and get the ball away. So again, Banny here on the attack with Vitinho. Does a really nice... Um, McGeady spin there to beat my defender to an um, amazing Alaska chop goes for the McGeady spin and I actually think if his play would have gone down there it probably would have been a penalty um, you know because I blocked him using my body um, so yeah probably should have been a penalty if the player went down um, and it would have been a really good skill goal otherwise so again banning on the attack here and we, I think he went on a pretty decent skill run, but we actually fouled him again. Um, you know, Banning was just so hard to defend against. You know, like every time you went to tackle him, he would just like do a skill move and get away from you. So yeah, it's pretty hard to defend against. So now we're getting into extra time here in the 91st minute, uh, first minute. Banny do some really nice skill moves there um, in the corner. I just couldn't get the ball off him. My defending, as you can probably tell already, it's not the best. Um, so yeah, does a nice fake Rabona there, two double touch exit, two a ball roll flick, and then in the end we managed to get the ball away. So in going into the second half of extra time now, I decide to bring off Il Senio and bring on Ricardo Caresma. Um, Il Senio, you know, doesn't have the best stamina, I think it's in the low 60s. So yeah, now this is where it gets pretty crazy. Um, we went into penalties, nothing really happened in the second half of extra time. And this is honestly the most insane and probably longest penalty shootout I've ever been in. So yeah, we get the ball here with Bonafa. Do We both um, start off by doing a few, you know, cheeky chip penalties and we both convert them. And then he gets a penalty there. It goes to the right side. I dive the right way. 
um, but he still goes in. And then with his penalty here, he goes to chip it and I managed to save it. So it's now 2-2. Two -two. I'll go and convert that next penalty there with Di Maria. So literally this was went on and on and on. I honestly thought at one point it wasn't going to end. And I think in the end it finished around, I think it was 10-9 or 11 or 11-10. I can't remember. It was just honestly the most insane and crazy penalty shootout. So um, if you do want to actually be featured in this um, series, do leave your Xbox gamer tag in the description below. Of course, you have to be a skiller in order to play me. So if you are interested, do leave your gamer tag in the um, comments below. Sorry. Um, so yeah, if you are interested as well, you can also um, hit me up on Twitter. You know, send me a DM. Um, hopefully, I should be able to bring this series weekly. Um, so yeah, hopefully, maybe even two times a week if we can get enough, you know, people to play. So yeah, anyway, this penalty shootout, as you can see, it's still going on in the background. Here's Banny there with a nice penalty straight down the middle. Um, then it, I have to take a penalty with my goalkeeper, converts it very nice to the right side of the net. Then he takes it with his goalkeeper. Again, very nicely converted. We get a penalty there with Karezma, goes straight down the middle. Then he gets a chance here with Douglas Costa, does a really long run up and then finishes it into the right side of the net. And if this um, face cam isn't in sync with the gameplay. I'm actually sorry because this is my first time, you know, doing face cam, so I'm not really very experienced. But I'll try and, you know, improve it if it isn't synced very well for the next episode. So yeah, then as you can see there, we finally win the match there with the save from Teresa. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.